Hello, everybody. This is our dishonor game. Uh, what were we calling our carnival? Nevermore. Nevermore. Yes. I will remember that. Nevermore. Wait. Oh, I should remember it all the time. Yeah. So, um, those um, watching, welcome back to our third episode. Uh, we did skip a week due to uh, various life things stuff. happening in real life. Yeah. Life comes at you sometimes. <clears throat> but we're back uh, for our game here. Hopefully, you all enjoy this session and all the others, the wonderfulness of our games. Um, so, I believe we do have a note taker who has some notes from last session. So, Katrina. Hi. So, last session, we attempted to earn some money and found that a lot of people in this town fucking suck. Uh, we were sent to basically break the legs of a random woman that owned the owner of the Pawnee Prawn Pawn Shop <sighs> um, and learned that she had like 10 kids and was a single mom. And... Seven, because it's a special oh, okay. number. Uh, and we're like, okay, this is... Um, we feel bad about this, so we're not going to follow through on this one. Met a random child called Dick Nino, whose friends call him oh, Richard. Um, and while we were like, yeah, okay, this is not a job for us, we were approached by a gentleman who introduced himself as Honest Frank. Uh, overheard we were looking for work and told us that he wants us to rob someone, uh, specifically Sir John Rose, a maybe minor noble uh, that is in charge of a gang who works out of the Wilted Rose Bar. Um, He's kind of moving onto Frank's territory and he wants to send a message to his men uh, without him or his suffering the fallout. Uh, so he told us to go rob the shit out of this guy. He'll take 25% of whatever we find. The other 75 is for us to keep. Um, and as proof that we actually did the job and just didn't... Something was very loud there. I don't know what that was. It's a truck. Oh, car. Wow. <laughs> Um, as proof that we have complete, uh, successfully robbed the correct guy, we are to obtain a specific, uh, erotic themed clock that looks like it is, it, it's clock made of like silver and gold and looks like two people fucking. It looks like a dick Nino. No, no, no. But yeah. the hour hand is, is the dick. In some uh, hours, it's more disappointing than others. Uh, apparently, it is uh, about the size that would fit on a mantelpiece and weighs about two to three pounds. Um, and uh, Honest Frank gave us three coin to cover the beer that tastes like piss as a distraction so we can scope the place out. Um, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually... I'm surprised. I took very thorough notes. This is weird. Wow. I feel like I must have taken these while I was editing the video because these are very nicely written out. Not the like haphazard. Hey, nobody needs to know ones that I sent to myself <laughs> for text. As far as up until now, Logan as far Bob. as the watchers at home were concerned, you took amazing notes all the time, and that is your forte. But now they know you're a hack. So I mean, see what happens. <laughs> I could be both, apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah so. so I believe so, uh, we left off where we were going to head to the bar to scope it out. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, so three of you yeah. are basically across the street from the Wilted Rose Bar. Bar. What does it look like? Bar. Uh, um, we were bar. told that it's a couple <coughs> stories tall and that it is frequented by all of his gang, which constitutes which there are 10 people in his gang. Yeah, um, so it's a three-story bar. The first story kind of like looks like the classic kind of like 
wood paneling with brick underneath, a uh, little part up um, around it that's kind of like a walk around porch kind of thingy, uh, but no one's really sitting out there or anything. And there is a large double doors with some glass to walk in. Uh, and then there's two more stories above it. That's probably where like ha- people might live or like do extra work. That's not bar specific. And the whole building is probably well, the size of a, I'm trying to think of a good size footprint. Probably three or four normal houses uh, wide. So not bad enough to um, be a decent little business. Yeah. Um, I guess let's go in and get some beers and keep an eye on what things look like. Uh, we were told some information about his gang. Apparently, his gang consists of 10 guys. Some are big and tough, and others are weasley little cowards, one of which is called Skunk and is recognizable by the white stripe in his hair and the fact that he smells like fish. Yep. Yeah, so... I guess we head in. You, uh, but what time of day did you decide to come on over here? Early in the day, midday, yeah. in the evening? It should be closer to like evening, I think, when it's busy. What do you guys well, think? Want a drink? It will seem sus if we stick around from like afternoon, wait, late into the evening. Not if we get drunk enough. I'm not willing to spend all my money and piss beer to get that drunk. Yeah, that's fair. If we're going to get drunk, I'm going to spend it on good beer. Good point. If we go earlier where there's not a lot of people, you, you two can chat people up and then I can cause a distraction so you can slip away. That is true. So if I have to fight lots of people... That would end poorly for me. I mean, it would also end up poorly for us. That is another thing that um, Honest Frank Only mentioned. Only if you get caught. It would, it would be a problem for all of us because he had warned that we don't want to cause too much of a stink because we don't want to draw the guards. That would be a problem for everybody and would probably uh, have a curfew put on this neighborhood, which would probably cut into our profits because that's the thing he specifically told us not to do. So ideally, we get in and out unseen. So yeah, I like Vask's idea maybe of him causing a distraction while you and I sneak upstairs to check out some more stuff. Yeah, so day drinking it is. So walk in, you see a... uh woman approach you she's wearing basically um ankle length dress and apron black house and she's like hello to hello and welcome to the wilted woes i am your witch twist oh no <laughs> hi uh, marriage is couple like of- bring <laughs> us together today a uh, couple of beers please would you like to sit at the bar or in a booth? Bar. She just leads you over, pats the seats, the bar stools, shan youth menu. She's like, We do have a lunch special. Would you like to hear about it? Yes. Sure. We have a wonderful um, cheese salad. It is with macaroni. And seven types of cheese. That's not a salad. We put it on top of a bit of lettuce. Why? Why not? To help with the constipation. I'm sorry, I forgot about the pain voice. <laughs> like that man voice compared to this. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> We also offering a fish woman. 
Sure, I'll try the. I guess I'll try the macaroni salad. <laughs> or sorry, okay. cheese salad. Yeah. How much Seven is kinds. that in a uh, beer cost, Kevin? Is that like? It will be. A bit two coin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three, if you want extra spice. Mm, two coin is fine. Rest of you, take, same thing. I'll take a ramen. I will also right. take a ramen. Right. Two fish ramen and a cheese salad. Mm -hmm. Coming up. She goes back and you do the things. You know, it's there are two bowls. The ramen is like hot. It's a clear broth. It's got like uh, some fish bowls and the noodles. The um. The cheese salad basically looks like if someone took seven cheese mac and cheese and just like chewed, took a couple big scoops of it and an ice cream scoop and put it onto a couple of leaves of lettuce. Two salads. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and each of you get a pint of beer. I assume it takes about as dreadful as <clears throat> we were warned. You've had better. The waitress like, oh, we hope you wake the beer. Uh, sure, thanks. It is Canoe Brand Beer. Canoe Brand, got it. <laughs> if there's anything else, I will be around. We don't have many guests because it is really worry. Sure thing. Uh, I sit there and eat my macaroni for a few minutes. Uh, just like cheesy. looking around. Yeah. Um, Keeps a nice solid form just because of the sh sheer amount of cheese. You know, when you uh, do the pool, it just like, just keeps going. Nice. Uh, what kind of exits are there to this building other than the front door that we walked in? And do I see a way upstairs? <laughs> Uh, doing casual glance, you there is, uh, you believe there is a back entrance behind the um, kitchen area, um, and you do see a set of stairs leading up. And then obviously there's the front door too. Mm -hmm. I want to count like how many people are currently on this floor, so I can see. Thank you, glance. You see that there's the bartender, the waitress. Um, you are sh pretty sure there's some people in the kitchen, but you can't see them from your angle. You'd have to go in the kitchen. Uh, other patrons, you do see um, one guy at the very end of the bar with his head down on the uh, bar, um, as is typical for day drinkers. <laughs> and you see uh, two, gr uh, two groups uh, at the um, booths. Uh, there's a group of three and a group of four at booths. They seem to just be eating stuff. They probably came in around lunchy time or so just to grab a quick bite in the area. This place is cheap. You also do notice that there is uh, two people at where the stairs lead up. There is a small little like round table with two guys sitting at it just kind of like you know, talking to each other and kind of keeping an eye out on things. Um, and are they, um, you said they're at the top of the stairs or the bottom of the stairs? Uh, bottom, uh, in order to get to the stairwell and go up, you'd have to go by okay. those two. And they're, um, are they armed? Uh, roll a study in Swiftly or another one, depending on what you, what kind of. I'm so scared of these study. studies. Yeah. Uh, so study and uh, I would say this would probably be quietly because I'm trying not to be obvious about it. Okay. Yay! Two successes and to get a um, extra it has to be under my skill. 
or no yeah. under my no. focus focuses yeah yeah, yeah i don't think any focus. of my focuses apply to this uh so i got two successes all right sorry i'm grabbing my um chaos um oh great i forgot that's the thing yeah uh, so yeah, you, you take a quick look. Uh, they are both armed. They look like they have blackjacks, and one has a um, knife with a brass knuckle kind of thing. So it's like a knife about this long, but it's got the brass knuckles on there. Thing. Classic. Uh, and a blackjack is a gun. No, no it's, it's a thing. Uh, it's like oh. a bat. Yeah, like a sap. <laughs> you know, just oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Billy Club. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, they can be progressive and have white jacks too, but it's just what they're called. Uh, and the, a lot easier to conceal if they're, they're darker colored. Uh, and the stairs going up, is there like any chance of like, is it just an open staircase that we could like maybe go over the railing if they're sufficiently distracted or is it just like a straight hallway up? Um. So it's like a doorway, and if you go in slightly to your left, as the stairs start to lead up to the right, is like a little area that you can go underneath the stairs to put like storage or make out with people. Not you know. So you definitely have to go through the door. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have to distract them. Yeah, it seems. Uh, and like. The majority of regular civilians that are working aren't armed, right? Uh, yeah, most people being armed is kind of a... Typically, if you're just a regular Joe and it's more than just a knife and the guards and watch sees you, they're probably going to har- harass you because they think you're up to no good. But, um, but yeah, lots of people, especially in... Um, lower end city and stuff they, they probably have a knife on them but it's more like just a typical utility mm-hmm. kind of everyday kind of thing uh, now what uh from the outside what kind of windows does this place have are they like um large enough to fit through or are they covered with bars or anything the top two floors they are relatively large double Windows that open out uh, with shutters they can close. The bottom floor where the bar is, the windows are a bit smaller. Um, looks like they are a bit more reinforced with um, a couple extra beams or metal bars around them, possibly to prevent people from being thrown out of them as easily. Fantastic. Yeah. Though but I'm the assuming... uh, top two floors are a lot easier they would be very visible if we went in from a window up there to the patrons around or to like the surrounding neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Or is it like maybe up against a dark alleyway? Depending on the time of day um, and how stealthy you are, you might be able to uh, access a window or two without being overly seen. But it also depends on time of day. So, like when people are getting out of work and stuff, probably a lot more visible. If you mm-hmm. wait for a little bit later in the evening or early in the morning, less so. I'll mention that to the pair of them. Like the windows could be another option if we feel like it would be too obvious going through here. As a bartender pro, uh, comes up to you, he's like, Would you like some more beer? Yeah, sure, we're day drinking. I will order another beer. Would you like uh, something higher in? We also have stronger liquors. What can I get for two coin? Two coin? I can get you a um, flaming fish. Sure. Why not? See him, he brings out a shot glass, pour some things in it, then you see him take a fish eye, put it in there, and then light it. It's like, there you go. I have regrets. 
Make sure I blow it out before you drink it. Sure. I will blow it out and drink it, I guess. Do you chew the eye or just swallow? No. Mm -mm. Are you supposed to leave the eye in there? or? No, it goes down with the drink. Like a tequila worm. Just, just swallow it whole. Vas Vask will, st well, if, you, if you're like struggling, he'll just like steal out of your drink <laughs> and eat it. She'd make a face, but she, she's got a better resolve than I do. It's got a, it's smooth, but uh, got a kind of like a salty uh, kick to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of like if you were take food some is, food yeah. is food. So like, yeah. So if you take like a whiskey and then put like and just dump a bunch of salt into it, <clears> kind of <throat> like that. That sounds horrifying. Thank you. How would you do that though? Hey, why are you crispy? <laughs> <laughs> why is it spicy? Why is it, why spicy? Is it salty? <laughs> Good soup. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you have that no soup <laughs> bartender looks over at James like you look like a man who would like a really good uh, stiff one uh, for a couple extra coin I can get you uh, one of our stronger beverages how much extra coin for four coin I can get you a shot of the top tier 110 proof. Why the hell not? All right. Uh, we call this the Outsider Bane. <laughs> Said strong enough to keep the Outsider at bay. Cheers to that. It's pretty strong. Pretty good. A lot better than beer. Fish. Yeah, yeah. No fish eyes or anything. <laughs> does it, in fact, keep the outsider away? You don't think it does, but you do think you grew some more hair on your chest. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think for today, do we just want to like keep an eye out and scope out what sort of people come in and out? Yeah, we'll just do a stakeout. That sounds like more fun. Yeah. I say that a waitress like, oh, do you want the steak? I would love a steak. We got uh, the low cut for uh, three coin. Three coin for low cut? Low cut. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll take that then. All right. Do you want it moving? Uh, medium. Okay. There'll be, uh, be out in about four minutes. Yeah. And I'm mostly just keeping an eye out. I'm going to try and count however many people I can see come in that are obviously carrying weapons and keeping an eye out for an individual with black and white hair. All right. I just in there and James gets his low cut steak. And you can tell why it's low cut steak. Um, you've had better. Oh, by God, it's all fat. <laughs> It's kind of like a, yeah. It's like chewing like shoe leather. Shoe. And in the middle of eating, you just put a knife and like. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So about I say you stay in there about an hour. Or so you do see three gentlemen walk in. One has long black hair with a fabulous white stripe down the center of it. Um. Basically, it's a mullet, but like a master mullet. You know, it's like kind of flared in the front and just goes down to like the uh, middle of his back kind of length. Mm, gross. Yeah. Him and the other guys just 
walk in the bar, wave at the bartender, and they just proceed to go. You see the two guys at the stairs, so Adam's like, and they just walk right on up. Is there, um, so the staircase up, it's not like a hang around, so you can't see anything upstairs, right? Yeah, it's like it goes up and there's a landing and then it goes up going this way, so. Okay. The, two, the one guard is kind of sitting there like, uh... Any thoughts, Jens? I go Fantastic. Um, I don't want to stay too yes. long because that would be suspicious, but I kind of want to wait around maybe for like another 20 minutes or so or 30 minutes and see if those guys at the stairs budge at all. Uh -huh. It's like two and a half, three hours. I feel like would be an ideal time for like at least one of them to get up and go to the bathroom if not for an actual shift change as you're talking the one guy about 10 more minutes the one guy does get up it's like oh ah, i'm good no sure it's like yeah i'm gonna go see a man about a dragon i'll be back in like 10 his friend's like wait what that's a weird saying but okay and proceeds to go to um, a small door on the side that's marked uh, gentleman. Just looking expectantly at the two of you. Don't want to try something tonight or wait for another and evening. We could. I want to now's the time looking over at the lone guy sitting at the table. We do know that she's here right now, so yeah, all we know about the skunk is that he is a weasley little coward. <laughs> I don't recall why I was very interested in knowing about them other than I guess just identifying which ones are not as big of a threat but yeah so do we want a distraction flip a coin flip a coin uh, flip a coin Heads now, tails later. Oh, uh, I don't. You can use a d20 if it's. I don't have it's my now. fancy prop coin yet. All right. As I elbow James's stuff onto the floor. <laughs> really? And I lean over and, like, that's your cue. <laughs> I am aware that that was my key. <laughs> you look at the steak, it just bounces on the floor a little. Sounds like a hockey puck hitting the floor. <laughs> Are you going to throw a punch or not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that's just it. You, you do this, and James looks at you and goes, Okay, and grabs a bottle and smashes it over <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm uh, getting out of the between the two of these two idiots. Start wrestling on the floor. <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> Guy over there is like, oh, what the fuck? He's like, hey, hey, get your bring up. You just see him get over. He's like, ah, he, always when my friend's taking a shit. Anytime he gets close, is like when I like. Yep punch or kick him like in his ankles so he falls over. Yeah, he gets like, bring up, bring up, bring up. 
as uh, soon what as is- he does, I'm going to try and slip my way upstairs while hopefully nobody is looking. And I am willing to give you doom to roll more dice because I could use the help. All right. So roll, Ooh, I think it's, is move a thing? Uh, yes, move. there yep, is yep. move. So you um, want to move swiftly or, or something else? Um, I'm going to say quietly because there aren't a lot of people in here. So probably every eye is going to be on them. So I just want to do it without sound. So right. quietly move. And you give me a doom, you said, for an extra dice. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, I did get two successes. <laughs> I also got a 19. <laughs> All right. I wrote a 6, a 10, and a 19. Yeah. All right, so. So, so um, there, you basically run, or just like, huh, uh, while well, it's distracted, go up the stairs. As you get to the stairwell on the landing and you look up, you basically notice a person coming down. Meanwhile, Vaskin James, the one guy comes over, he kind of cr- goes to grab Vas and is like, bring it up. And he said, you wanted to uh, swing? Uh, if he's coming in, then I'm going to try and like swap him and James out, basically. Like roll over, grab him, and James is left by himself or whatever. <laughs> All right. This be more fight move or how would... How... Yeah, that still fights and scrappily, and then yeah. So I'm gonna try to do this carefully. Uh, Just don't really want to hurt the guy, but I also don't want to hurt James either. So Uh, it's two d twenties. So fight in carefully. Uh, 10 and an 11 and fight and carefully an 11 so i if i rolled an 11 is that a pass succeed yeah if it's equal to yeah okay yeah i got two successes then all right two successes so you just kind of like fine next now you're basically grappling the guys like hey Hey, get off! Get off! Get off! And he's going to attempt a kick to the nizzets. Uh, I will. I I'll let you know. I am wearing at least the treated cloth, so that's one protection. Find the stats here, quick. Gange member. All right, so you're grappling him, and he's just like, ah, and he goes to kick you in the nuts and misses and kicks the bar stool instead. Is James going to do anything? Uh, you said there's someone else coming down the stairs? Or yes, do I some- not know that yet? You don't see that. Because okay. Tara went to the stairwell. You know, there's okay. this guy that's grappling Vesk and another one that went to the bathroom for uh, bathroom. Okay, well, I guess I'll go uh, towards the bat room then. And I'm going to try and uh, we'll say subdue him. All right. So while. Vasquez, the one guy kind of grappled. You rush over to the bathroom. Yeah, like make it look like make it look like I'm trying to escape from all this nonsense. You rush in. So that's what you're doing this round. Let's go back up to Tara. So you notice the guy walking down, just like la la, and, you know, doing the thing where you see the little lightning things above the head. <laughs> <turning orange. laughs> I feel like there, there's like a fight downstairs. I don't know if you guys have like additional guards or whatever. It's like a fight. Yeah, some asshole just beat another guy with a 
fucking bottle. It's like, oh shit. And he's going to pull out a small uh, dagger. It's like, it's like nobody fun on property. Stay here, bitch. Got it. And as soon as he's out of view, I'm going yeah. <laughs> further but upstairs. Yeah, that's guys you're grappling. You look Sorry. over, and this guy's running with a knife. He's like, Gah! roll over and <laughs> have the other guy like, like, try to like pin me or whatever. Like, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> you are besting me. <laughs> so, roll, um, I guess fighting clever. Okay. <laughs> Really, this guy's getting really confused. Uh oh. Oh, Uh-oh. never mind. Oh, those are never mind. I was looking at the. It's really hard to see because some of these are really glossy. But uh, a nine and a three. Uh, so. Uh, fight and cleverly, uh, is ten total, and my brawling is a f- brawling focus is a five. Mm-hmm. So I, what is that? Technically, three. At least two successes, if not three. I think three, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so don't know if you so you grab the guy and go up and like, oh no, as his friend comes down to like stab, it's like, ah, oh, and you just hear the guy who you just put on top to like pin you like ah just go ah <laughs> uh, oops James. Uh you so James, as you open that bathroom door, you see the one guy um, sitting in like it's a bathroom, and there's like two stalls, but the doors aren't really there. It's one of those lower end things. So the guy's just sitting there with you know pants down on the toilet. He's got you know a um, book, and he's just like, "Hey, hey." James, go to the shit. To grab the other guy. Yeah. So, uh, (laughs) real real casual, like, I'm just going to start walking, make it look like I'm going to the other stall, and then just, uh, like, lunge at the dude and grab him and slam his head against the wall. All right. So, um, that's definitely a fight. I'm going to say clever. All right. It's like, yep, just got to take shit to shit buddies. Okay. I mean, you are tricking him. It's a bit of a misdirect. Yeah. All right. Uh, I got a 10 and a 3, so two successes. <laughs> I think. That's well, at least two. Yeah. So you yeah, go unless you have a focus that applies. I do not. <laughs> and you said you're attempting to uh, the subdue one. Yep. So a little bit harder, but not kill. So no chaos generated as you just knock his hand on the back and he's like, ugh. And he just like just goes down onto the ground and just like Ugh. I'll be I'll be real. I had to fight my my instinct of uh high lethality stealth. I was like, I could just drown this motherfucker. But... <laughs> <laughs> Who does number two work for? Does number two work for? Yeah, you tell that turn. <laughs> I mean, can't blow your cover if he's dead, right? I mean, that is my normal strategy for murdering <laughs> people, yes. So we cut back to Tara? Yeah. Um, creeping up the stairs. Keeping an eye out for because it was not um skunk that came down the stairs at Correct. Right. Great. I am keeping it up. Actually, I am smelling for him as well. Because I was told he smells a lot like fish. Very strongly of it. Alright. So the next thing, I roll stealth. Okay. I am not going to give you doom this time. Oh, mm. Jesus. Nice. Please yeah, roll so that well in the tray. Yeah, move and quietly i guess yes so i got a one and a 20. so as you're so that's like what 
so on the second so on the second floor you kind of walk uh you know it goes off and there's basically a hallway going straight and kind of like your left kind of thing and there's some doors so it's kind of like the bottom floor but instead of booths and stuff it's like a mm-hmm. series of like five or six rooms mm-hmm. um so you like go in there to check something out and as you are kind of like stealthing one of the doors just swings open and basically like you're here and just like bam right into your uh, face uh because that you are going to get a truth of because your nose is busted it's harder to see through the blood yeah, so you get a penalty to certain sight things until you can fix that up because someone just busted your nose as they walk out and just like mm-hmm, and just walk down the hall the other way. Ow. Yep. Uh, can I see? Did that individual have black and white hair? Um, you can't really tell at the moment because uh, the door slamming in your face was quite painful. I'm going to hold the door so that it hopefully doesn't close all the way and peek around and look inside. As you look inside, we cut to Vesk. As the guy is just like, oh, 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 no, oh, no. As the (laughs) guy who was, you know, you were grappling and trying to get on top of stuff just kind of goes limp a little and just slowly goes to his knees and down on the floor. Look what he did. Oh my god, what did you do? <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> we have to get him to a hospital. Gra- grab his head, I'll grab the legs. I got the head. <laughs> and he starts to like, <laughs> you start walking outside with the guy. <laughs> yep. It's like, I don't know if there's a, any close spot, but I know where a doctor is. She's like, like talking to the guy in his hands, like, don't worry, we'll, we'll patch you up. I <laughs> like, oh, love oh. this. <laughs> oh, like, if anybody asks, we're just playing with another guy. <laughs> See that shady asshole that went to the shitter? Clearly, it was him. He started the fight. I'm sorry, I got caught up in the moment. <laughs> As your two are walking out, we go to a doctor. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, James, you are uh, in the shitter. The guy is basically unconscious on the ground. I'm just going to. Just... Undignified position. Yeah, I'm just going to pick him back up and sit him there on the toilet. That way it looks pretty natural. <laughs> yeah, so you get the body all adjusted, you know. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. Uh, so what do you do now, James? Wash your hands, window? walk out. Is there a window in here? Uh, there is a window. Um, it's one of the smaller square ones to allow like ventilation. Um, when you say smaller, <laughs> you may be able to squeeze out, but it requires a check to make sure you squeeze out without um incident. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. So I'm guessing that should be like a move and something. Yeah, I'm gonna say move and quiet. Because I'm trying to sneak out. All right. I have things for both of those. Oh, Oh, hey. I got a two. All right. Doing good. That actually generates an extra momentum you can uh, can put into the joint pool for now. That way you guys can spend it for a later scene if needed. Yeah, so you squeeze out and kind of like just flop onto the ground outside. And as you get up, you just see a person walking in uh, the side street, just looks at you, he's like, skipping the bill. Yep. Uh, okay. Sounds good. And just keeps walking. All right. Well, good luck. 
<laughs> yeah. So James, as you, as you look up and the guys says that you, you look and you swear you see Vesk and some random guy carrying a body down the street. That's weird. Anyway. <laughs> Also, I'm alone in the building. <laughs> For the moment. Yeah. Uh, is there like um, a fire escape or uh, like a lower roof nearby? Um, so the bottom layer does have that like porch thing around. So it does have a um, roof top. Of oh, shape. yeah. So if you can get onto like the roof, yeah. you could probably get into a window. Yep, yeah. that's the plan. Yeah, is that still considered a roof that's on a porch? Yeah, it's a porch yeah. roof. It's like an awning. Yeah, like that. Yeah. So, um, it's a glorified lean to. Yeah. Um, I'll say the porch. there's enough stuff around for you to um, manage to get up without much difficulty, unless you're trying something special or fancy to get up. No, I'm just being sneaky. Yeah. So you get up and you are able to reach at least two different windows uh, from this position. Like they, they lead into different rooms, but you can get to either or like a left and right window. Is anybody inside the rooms? Um, let's see. Actually, I'm going to spend some chaos and both rooms have people in them. One has what appears to be two guys and a woman on a bed, and the other one has four guys sitting around a table playing cards. So, devil... So, you got the devil's threesome, and you have a poker game. Sorry, outsider's threesome. Is there a third floor? (laughs) There is, but it's a bit hard to get to because there's no awning between those. How hard? Um, a like two two successes hard or like six hard? Uh, more like two successes to get up there. Well, you see, I have this lovely ability called blink. So, <laughs> yeah, that is something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I just blink up there? <laughs> Yeah, you'd be going through the window, so that would cause the window to shatter, but yeah. Mm. Wait, Blink is the one that does that, right? Because you're s- still going through the thing. Uh, it depends. Like, I usually, I've used it to land on, like, window sills before in, in the game, anyway, but I don't know how it works in the RPG. Yeah, it depends on things. It's unlike the video game where you, you, you can't really stand on, like, this, and, like, in the game where you're just like, Phew. somehow I'm standing on this ledge when I should not be able to. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so you probably would end up breaking through the window with it. But you'd be I there. Mean, there's already a pretty man, well, I don't want to break through the window. Mm-hmm. I'll just try and climb. All right. Might be able to blink to the roof. Um I thought that's what you were going for initially. I mean that might not be a terrible idea. Yeah, I'll just blink onto the roof. Right. Remember to spend your mana point thing. Point has been spent. And you appear on the roof. You just like um looking around. There is a um you know one of those flat doors that you open up to get a ladder to go down. Yeah. Uh, one of those entrances. Um is it locked? Let's see. Do I have to check for that? Um, um, it is not locked, but it is a little bit of a oomph to open. So if you want to open it quietly without noise, you require a check. I'll do that. I like rolling things. I'm guessing maybe a tinker check. That sounds accurate. Mm-hmm. I guess you want to do it quietly, so tinker that quiet. Well, uh, I probably should have just gone through the window. 
Uh, I rolled a 20. All right. So uh, you rolled a 20, and I will just accept two chaos for this. Okay. Because I can't think of anything off the top of my head. So. so you open it up and just like, and you see the ladder going down. Meanwhile. Oh, all right. All right. Here's an idea. If you're going to take two chaos, chaos also comes from like death. Yes. Yeah. How about how about I open the door and drop in and there's someone right there and just like reflex murder? <laughs> well, that would be two plus more chaos. I'm okay with that. Or you could just or we could stake the ass and you can kill later. No, this is funnier. So okay, so you open it up, you see Kevin, let me make the other players' lives harder. <laughs> I'm just saying it's going to generate you more. You set the roll for that. You already have the chaos. Yeah. So I say that you open it up and you look down and you notice person walking by. So if you want to get down and kill them, you can, or you can wait. So there. nice. The occasional death is okay, but. I do have this nice stack. This is why I don't play. This is why I'm bad at Dishonored. I can't play high lethal stealth. <laughs> Meanwhile. No one can report you if everyone's dead. <laughs> Tara. You're not wrong. Yeah, you are, open the you, door and look inside. You go in the room. You see. Well, I look in first. <laughs> Through my blood clouded vision, because I still have busted nose. Yeah. So you're looking in, you don't think you see anyone in there? I will slip inside and close the door quietly and just look around. Look around, uh, roll a quick um, study and something, depending on how you want to do it. If it's swiftly, I guess swiftly. Uh, would quietly make sense? Quietly can also work. It's just taking more time to do it. No, I'll do swiftly. I go rage one. Two successes. You look around. You do notice that there is a pouch of coins on a a counter. And what appears to be a... um, Because this is just looking around. So you see all that is valuable. You also see what appears to be a um, flask of... um, a very, you know, it's a pretty decent uh, alcohol that you could probably get some um, coin from or enjoy yourself. I will take both of those. Just remember, mo- part of the mission isn't to eliminate the gang here. It is to steal. Yeah. And I, looking around, if I do not see a very ostentatious gold and silver sex clock, I'm going to the next room. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus, there are three floors, though. You're on floor two, yeah. Okay. James yeah, I'm is on still going to go I'm still going to go to the... Oh, damn. I don't know where they are. I'm going to peek my head back out in the hallway. Are any of the other doors open? None that appear to be open. You do hear sounds coming from a couple of them. I will go to one of the doors that does not have sounds coming from it and peer in. All right. You look through the keyhole. That would be a study and something. Uh... Study and does quiet work? Sure. One success. Looking in, you do see what appears to be someone on a couch laying down, maybe sleeping. But they're not uh, like dressed really fancy or anything? No, normal clothing. Okay. I'm moving on then. All right. 
And as you do that, we cut to Vesk. <laughs> yeah, and the guy carrying, you notice there's this blood dripping from the wound on the guy. He's like, oh, I don't know if, do you know how to check to see if, if he's still alive? I can't believe you stabbed this guy. <laughs> uh, as he's like, kind of cradles the head with one hand and smacks him with the other hand. <laughs> this will help him. I think he might be dead. Don't you die on me. <laughs> it's like, shit. Yo, man, if he's dead, we should probably take him to an alley and throw him in the trash. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. idea. That's, a, that's, that's, that's a place for dead bodies. <laughs> Just hobble over to a thing. He's like, man, I barely knew this guy. It's like, this is only my third day with the gang. Yeah, that really sucks. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> uh, you want his boots? Yes. I yeah. think they're a little small for me. All right, I'll I, take the boots. Mm-hmm. You, you gonna have his belt? Yeah, I can fit into that. Look, he's like he's got a pouch of uh ten coins. Uh, five you, five me. Okay. He's like, uh, and uh, yeah, we don't we don't say anything. He opens up the trash. Just ooh. did no one else in the room see him shank his friend? Well, there was the waitress and the uh, people, but they were just like, "What the fuck?" No witnesses. You gotta go back and kill him. <laughs> He's like, okay. If anyone asks, there was that other guy. Wow. Um, That's true. Yeah. yeah, like like I came to break up the fight and like the other the, 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 the other guy you were fighting got like stabbed him and ran and we and and that that's what we're going to go with if anyone yeah. asks. But I don't think I should go back to that bar. Cuz like a couple people saw stuff. But if anyone asks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nice meeting you. I'm out. All right. Goodbye. And I'll I'll go back to the bar. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why this is so surprising that your endeavor just like worked out really fucking well. (laughs) (sighs) Yeah. Let's get back to the bar. (coughs) James, you drop down onto the third floor. You just see one guy. He appears to be in the corner, just like Holding himself up, just like, oh, I need to stop day drinking. I've completely forgotten why I've come to this bar. You're stealing shit. I know. I just forgot what floor it's supposed to be. <laughs> we don't actually know. All we know is that the clock at one point was in the main guy's bedroom. Mm-hmm. That's all we know. So this this dude that's propped up against the wall. He's, I assume, looking away from me. Is the guy looking at him, Kevin? I didn't hear anything. Everything. Um, nice. Oh, our internet shut it out. The internet uh, went down for a second. So repeat, please. I was waiting for everything to catch back up. Oh, okay. I assume this guy is looking the opposite direction from me. Yeah, his back is to you. It's like got a hand up. Um, you just I'm said a, they're just like, Ugh. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna grab that guy real quick, like. So that would be a, um, I guess, fight in something. Forcefully fight quiet. Uh, yeah, if you're trying to prevent him from saying, yeah. and making noise. Yeah. Sleep, yeah. go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh no, I'm not putting him to sleep. I'm just grabbing him. Who's grabbing him so he doesn't scream? Right. Yep. 
Roll. Hey, two successes. All right. Okay. Just kind of grab him and like, you know, sleeper hole kind of thing. Just, uh, it's just like, ah, God, boy, God. Oh, I'm not, I'm not putting them out. I'm just holding them. Like, just like, hey, hey, you, you, you wouldn't happen to know if there's a weird clock around here, would you? Kind of looks like uh, a bunch of dicks. I, I, I'm aware of the clock. Where? It's in the boss's office. Where? Down the hall, three doors left. On this floor? Yeah. Cool. Good night. <sighs> uh, are you permanenting or... Oh, no, not permanent. Just... <laughs> He, he answered he answered my questions quite pleasantly. Like, uh, I'm not playing this like I play uh Ghost Recon or any game that Vex has watched me play. Sleep. <laughs> no, see what I what I normally do in those games is I'll knock people out and then after I release the hole I'll just pop pop. All right. Gotta make sure. So, three doors proceed. down. Proceed, and we're going to spend some chaos as you are going down and to get to the room that's specified. One of the doors open, and you see two gar- uh, two gang members. One big and brawny, and the other one a little bit softer, smaller. Not wearing a shirt. Walk out. They both have daggers on them. And they're just like, hey, you don't belong here. Is that, um, is that the hatch I dropped in from still open? Uh, you think so, yeah. Unless you closed it. I sure didn't. Uh... <laughs> this isn't where I parked my wagon. <laughs> <laughs> huh, that's crazy, Blink. <laughs> All right, so you blink, and the two guys are just like, hey, what? Must have been the wind. What the fuck? And you just hear the two of them searching around. And as that's happening, back to Tara. So was there another door that is does not sound like it has people in it? Uh, you're not hearing any non-hearing. Okay, so the, oh, the other rooms, the other rooms people, all no. seem to be occupied. Um, do I hear the guys yelling "What the fuck" and searching around upstairs? Uh, roll a steady and um, something, I guess, cleverly, forcefully. Okay. Holy shit! Um. I got three successes. Okay. I got a one. It does generate a point of momentum. That's two still in the pool. Um, yeah, you hear some commotion from upstairs. Like, hey, what the? This might be a good time to make my exit, I'm thinking. How are you exiting? I still think these dumbasses are downstairs. So I'm going to. Go downstairs, I think. <laughs> you go downstairs, and as and you do, just, you just like s- sort of look and see what I can see down there. So you're looking downstairs. Yeah, just to see, because I, I, I don't want to basically walk into the guards if they're already positioned back at the um table there, because I don't know that they're no longer in the room. Um, as you look down, you do you see um the bartender, the um waitress and uh the guy with the uh, skunk standing there with another guy and they're just talking as the door opens and you see Vasque walking in <laughs> if they don't look like they're noticing me i'm going to slip past them back into the rest of the room so mask as you walked in uh the waitress like that is one of them. And Skunk's just like, hey, 
You're the one who was in a part of a fight. Come back. Hmm? Just got some well, balls on you. One of the one of the guys got stabbed. One of your guys, I'd assume, got stabbed, and I need, need to come back for his stuff. We took him down the street. Why would you like help one of our people? We you don't know us anything. Well, I, it wasn't you guys that started it, and I didn't start it, so I, we don't really have. It was some other dickhead. Hmm. I, mean, I, apologize, I apologize for the mess. If if you need me to cover anything, I can. Mm. Well, I keep taking responsibility and uh, helping out one of our people. That takes balls. I like that. Why don't you come upstairs and uh, we can discuss maybe some uh, work if you need some. Hmm? All right. Yeah, that's um, that sounds fine. You guys put his arm around you. Have I had the opportunity to slip further into the room at this point yet? Um, yeah, do move in something to All right. see how well you do. I do not want anybody to notice me. So if anybody does not mind, I'm going to spend... Oh, I can't spend both momentum to get All right. four dice. All right. That right. would be three, right? You can spend, yeah, you can spend one to All get right. one dice. Though. I'll spend one to get oh, an okay. extra dice. Yeah, it starts getting more expensive. One for one, two for three. Oh, uh, I see. Um, and this was move and quietly. Mm -hmm. So that's one success. Oh, no, wait, this is stealth. So two successes mm -hmm. because it's under my focus. Whew. All right. So you get out of the way as you see them walking. Skunk is just kind of like, so what's your name, stranger? Vask. Vask Graysteel. Oh, Grayskill, that is such a manly name. I guess. I mean, think about it. You don't even need a nickname. We don't even give you anything. You're just Grayskill. Man, it's like Dick Hard. You know, just one of those names that men <laughs> want. I met a Dick Nino once. Oh, that little kid down the street? Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, I met him one time. He was telling me a story about how he uh, was on a boat and some white whale attacked, and that he, he like helped slay it or something. I don't know. It's wicked. Yeah. <laughs> Just... <sighs> yeah. But yeah, if you know someone who. Uh, Know how to take care of all the members of the gang. We could, like I said, we could really use you. Here's a man with balls like yours. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Seem to talk about balls a lot. Cojones. <laughs> you can be slightly concerned that you have a one track mind. Chutzpah. <laughs> So as they're walking up, uh, James, you are blinked back onto the roof. Well, I've done everything I can. <laughs> and I leave. They're on their own. Bye, bitches. <laughs> yep. Okay. Reese, Reese question to everyone. Mm -hmm. Has anyone grabbed the stupid clock? I tried, but then they spent chaos and two dudes came out and I decided that dying is not on my to-do list. I don't know where today. it is. I'm just, I'm just checking. No, no one. As far as Vask knows, you guys are still doing your thing or whatever. But I don't know. I don't know if he saw Tara see, sneak see, out. See post in the Discord channel for my opinion of dying. <laughs> I saw it. Excellent. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Words to live by. <laughs> I have to remember to put this somewhere. What is the thumbnail? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what, Tara sees so, uh, yeah, James as on the you're roof? 
<laughs> no. Um, no, I'm I'm still in the in the like bar in the like central area. Uh, uh as he's as Vasque is going up the stairs with this guy, who else is left in the in the main like area? Um it looks like most of the patrons got left after a disturbance. So all you really see is the uh bartender and the waitress. They're cleaning uh waitress on her hands and knees, cleaning up a little bit of blood on the ground. She's like what he fights. Oh, what making me queen up after them? Waskly wet. Waskly's <laughs> out damn spot. Oh, God. Oh. As, as soon as Vask is uh, a little bit away, I'm gonna head back up the stairs if I can slip past the waitress and the bartender without them noticing. All right. Because we're you, already um, here. This is a pretty fucking good distraction. You can handle it. So, you kind of sneak up behind them. Um, Fast uh, Skunk is taking you up to the third floor. He's like, you're going to meet the boss. He's going to ready and he's going to like, yeah. Can I go to just gray steel? Sure. Yeah, that's a cool name. Takes you to a room, knocks on the door, opens up, walks in. You see um, a better off looking gentleman wearing like fancier, slightly better tailored outfit, sitting on a at a desk with some papers. It's a pretty nice little suite in here. Um, like it's got the um, kind of like meeting living room area. There's probably a bedroom to the side. Looks like he even has his own little bathroom area. Mm-hmm. Just looks up. It's like, what we got here, uh, skunk? Skunk's like, hey, this guy here got in a fight down in the uh, bar area. But unlike some things, he like the fight. One of our men got really injured, and he actually went with one of our other gang members to go and help him take him to the doctor instead of just running and stuff, and then came back. He's got some major cojones on him, and I think we could really use those. And the guy's like, wording, man. Wording, Skunk. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I mean, if Skunk's saying you're good, we could always use more people. We uh, typically... Uh, pay for jobs but you can also get legitimate work in one of my businesses to get more of a steady pay we do offer partial health care we do give you a uh, circle so i can never remember how to pronounce this doctor's name one of these red things every now and then to give you a, a little healing and tears out your system yeah it's, it's a healing potion there's a name for him i can't remember Oh, do you remember the guy's name? Sure. The uh, guy who invented the um, the doctor who invented the healing potions. Oh, uh, Sokolov. Yeah, yeah. We give you some Sokolov uh, potion once a week, once a month, maybe. Help also helps when the ladies come over. We do have girl nights uh, a couple times a week, where we invite some people from the brothels over for fun and games. Like Yahtzee. Yes. Yahtzee. <laughs> Why do you do this to me so often, Reese? Jesus. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> so, uh, uh, take a quick look you, around the room. Is, is the I mean, clock in if here? You, uh, if you funnier, prefer the dues. I think it's even funnier imagining Vast Gray Steel, this fucking giant of a man. Yahtzee is the best game. Accurate. <laughs> um, row study and I guess swiftly, if you're doing a quick look or unless you're doing a different kind of look. Uh, the only other thing would probably be like carefully to make sure like he's not super noticed. But this one is. You said study? Yeah, study and uh, either swiftly or carefully. So that would be nine. I got a beat. 
One's a seven, and I got a one. Yeah, that does generate uh, two momentum because you don't need that many. One success is good. Um, so you look over and you do see on the mantle of what looks like a fireplace, a clock. It does look like it's happy hour coming up soon. <laughs> um, but you see it ticking away. And he's just like, but yeah, if you prefer gentlemen, we can have them come over also instead. I'm sorry, I stopped listening. What's the deal with the clock? <laughs> oh, this. Yeah, it was a special gift I got, uh, specially commissioned from um, some matrons at the, uh, I believe it's the Golden Cat or so. Uh, I uh, got it for spending um, an adequate amount of money and time with the ladies there. After so many hundreds of hours, you get rewarded stuff. And how much money you spend to you. I end up with a clock. Did he get the porn clock from the golden pussy? Golden cat. Golden cat. It's in the game. It is. Congratulations. So, <laughs> yep. It takes it takes a lot. Some people spend a whole lifetime before they get a such spa, uh, fine quality work here, but I got it in record time. No comment. <laughs> Fastest uh, one at the brothel to get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was hard work, but it was worth it in the end. <laughs> I went. But yeah, if you really want to remember, uh, we are recruiting. So uh, Skunk would probably we can take you to the other room and um, show you the boys and um, if you kind of get the feel for uh, how everything works with the boys and everything, we can um, see about getting your job and stuff going on. If you're interested. I, if it's all right with you, I'd like to have a look around. And I'd like to think about it a little bit, if that's all right. Oh yeah, we can take uh, Skunk can take you back down to the um, uh, bar area, and since we'll be nice, we can offer you uh, one of our meals under seven coins. Just go down, uh, Skunk will uh, make sure you know, and you can get a meal. It's very generous. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, how you save money and stuff, you get all the meats and everything the day after they normally would be sold to normal people. Clever. The moment the butchers and stuff are like, mm, probably should toss it, that's when you buy it up and put in the special. I can see why you're the boss. Oh, yeah. Very glad I didn't get the steak. <laughs> so Skunk just needs you. He's like, yeah, great steel. This is going to be amazing. I'm real, real looking forward to working with you. Just you and the boys, like, going on missions together and stuff. Oh, you want to hear about the time we infiltrated the uh, Turkish prison? Yes. All right. <laughs> he just starts trying, telling you a tale. What's What's Tara and James doing? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, James fucked off. He, yeah. His ass go home. I guess I don't know. Um, go home. And go to bed. <laughs> so, question. Uh, in that time that they made it up the stairs, and I heard a door close. Can I creep it all on the, around on the third floor and see if there are any doors that? I don't care people in. Um, you think at this time of day, most of the rooms are occupied by at least somebody because okay. it's kind of chill time. All right. I'm going to head back to the second floor to one of those empty rooms and try and go out a window. Mm, or... No, as long as I don't hear anything too, like too many patrons downstairs, I'm going to just head down 
the stairs then. Get back into the bar area. Yeah. As you do, you hear a holy shit as the bartender. You saw him coming coming out of the bathroom. Holy crap. Somebody get a doctor. It happened again. Again? Oh, God. No, I didn't kill the guy. As, uh, as you're saying that, uh, the uh, bartender and the uh, waitress go in, start pulling this guy out. It's like, bartender looks up, sees Tara, it's like, huh, you don't happen to know anything about medicine, do you? Not really. I can run and get a doctor, maybe. I don't remember seeing you leave or anything, but I don't remember seeing you around. Like when the everything happened, I kind of just took off and hid in the corner. I I don't do well with um when punches are getting thrown. Uh, well, can you help? Uh, can you uh, help move this guy over? We're trying to pull his pants yeah, I'll, up. I'll, I will help situate the guy. This is the third time he's passed out taking a shit this week. <laughs> I really used to work don't diet. push. Don't push. Just... Yeah, just let it happen. <laughs> okay. Oh, I missed this. And then <laughs> I guess after that, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out of here and just Hang out know. across the street, <laughs> waiting for, for Rask forever. <laughs> Their heads up, and then so Vask and um, Skunk leads you to the front door. Is like, all right. So when you're ready and stuff, let us know. He said you want some time to think. Remember, you can get some food at the bar if you need it. Um, but yeah. So, when you show back up, I'll, I'll show you some cool shit and stuff. Brace you. Yeah. Sticks his hand out and shakes. He grabs his hand. It's like, oh, that's a nice firm hand shake. I'm sure you uh, shake a lot of things firmly with that. Mm, <laughs> uh, I'll be back soon. Yeah. All right. See you, man. I see Tara across the street. <laughs> I've got my hand in my pocket count, trying to count the coins that were in that uh, coin purse. <laughs> uh, you have 12 coin. Nice. Okay. That's better than what we had before. You see Vask walk out. <laughs> the fuck did James go? I thought he was with you. I thought it was with you. Does James want to show up now? What the hell happened? Yeah, I'll just like I'll just drop were their buddy them. or something. Yeah. Holy shit! Well, oh, hi. Uh, how's it going? Found him. Walk and talk. And as we're walking and talking, I'm going to start oh. sipping from that flask. And I'll, as we're walking, I'll, I'll let them know that uh, they. <laughs> <laughs> they offered me a job. I found the clock. I can tell you exactly what room it's in. I can tell you that too. Uh, okay. Well, good. We confer- double confirmed it, but I actually got eyes on it. Okay, good. Uh, it's right there. Uh, we just need to get into that room and take it. Uh, Did but they off. Any windows in that room? Was there any windows in that room? Uh. Yeah, so basically the there is a window leading in that you saw. It is essentially when you walk to the building and you see the front entrance, and it's like the third story window right there. Viewing yeah, the street point. stuff. Yeah, point tells okay. them that. All um, right. And that they offered me a spot in this gang, so that could be an inn. And that they are they frequent the brothel and also have girls' night at the bar. So that could be 
That's an another way in. One of I us. don't know how Not comfortable so you are with that, but James. But wait, how the fuck did you get up to the third floor? What? What? I climbed. Yeah, every door I fucking checked had people in it. One person fucking hit me with a door, but didn't even notice me. Well, I knocked out a man in the bathroom, and then I climbed out the window, and then I climbed onto the roof, and then I climbed onto oh, the other roof. Oh, that was you. They thought he just yeah. passed out shitting himself. That's straight nice. up what they thought. <laughs> I hope that I hope that also works for the guy I knocked out on the third floor. Probably not. I don't know. He seemed like he was drunk, so. I have no idea. Though... I only took a little bit, so hopefully they won't notice that uh, at least that I was there, that I was doing anything. Hopefully the drunk one will remember you, James. That's so fine. Our options are attempt to sneak in uh, during girls' night or maybe try it either when everybody is asleep or during the day before everybody gets here like early morning maybe mm-hmm. yep because this time like it was it's like early evening getting to like proper evening right now kev Finish, yeah going to the evening yeah yeah so if everybody is here now chances are the beginning of the day they all i guess go home do they live here or when skunk was showing me around <laughs> um how, how did it how did it appear was it just more a hangout with with rooms or was it more like they kind of stay there <clears throat> it looks like most of them kind of stay there because they don't want to spend extra money on their own places makes sense um. <clears throat> That's why I seem like most uh, rooms a thing. Um, I would say while you we were talking with Skunk, as you know, the walk talk kind of thing, he did let you know that um, they normally do their special jobs and stuff uh, at night when or in the later evening when people are home or um, sleeping and stuff. Um, that's when they prefer to do it. So during the day, they generally, unless it's Special nights, they tend to just lounge around day drinking or sleeping. Gotcha. I'll pass like that along to them. They so hear party me hard and they play hard. You join up, go with them on a job. You volunteer to be lookout. As soon as they're in wherever they're going, you ditch them. We go break in. And if they get found, they get found. And the bar will be empty. Say that again. This seems like a lot of work for a problem we could solve with a good stabbing. Well, again, he doesn't want them killed. He wants uh, to send a message. (laughs) Did you get that one guy to a doctor? Oh, he died. Oh, bummer. Nice. Well, I guess technically they still have 10 people on the team. Technically they have. Yeah. So. What yeah, do you guys it think? It would be nine. There's one died and the other one uh, high-toed it out there for killing the guy. Oh, that's right. And then right. when he joins back up, that would be nine. I don't know that. All I know is that somebody died. I don't think I even saw the stabbing. I think I was gone by then. You were. Um, so there is the sneak in while they're gone, sneak in during girls' night. Thoughts? They are ladies, don't call them that. Thoughts, okay. it's a joke. Oh, that's <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, 
I'm down for either. Both should work. Though if they're out, then there's a lot, there's a greater chance of not getting caught. Yeah, I like that better. What do you think, James? I can just get back on the roof. What was that? I can just get back on the roof. I mean, that isn't going to help tonight. He said the boss no. was in that room. I'm just saying it would help me only. Oh, wait, there's, an, there's a rooftop entrance. Mm. If we can get up to the roof, we don't even need to worry about who's in the bar, because I like that. Yeah, so we'll plan for you join up, go with them on a job, find an excuse to slip away. Uh, and meanwhile... James and I will get up to the roof and steal the clock and anything else we can get our paws on. Right. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Uh, and I will pass out, if you guys are interested, uh, four of the coins that I found. No, I took five off the dead guy. Oh, shit. Remember, 25% of what you find belongs to the other guy. Oh, shit, that's right. He doesn't know that. He doesn't. Does he appear? I'll hold on to it for now. <laughs> you guys cheating me? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, and I guess we uh, head home for the night. Into your apartment. As you uh, open the door and walk in, you see uh, Dick Nino sitting on your couch. Hi. Don't forget to lock the cat That's door. A... That is a very good way to get shot, kid. You don't have a gun? No, I have a crossbow. It's quieter and it hurts more. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Amity agrees with me. <laughs> That was my dog. That's why I said Amity. Amity? Isn't that her name? Oh, it's not my dog. Oh. No, that's Terry. I didn't. That's Terry's Terry? Down... Yeah, he's down here with me. Making oh, noise. buddy. That is a very high-pitched bark for him. Yeah, he either has to go out or he just wants love and attention. <laughs> anyway. Probably both. Whatever. Yeah. But yeah, the kids are like, yeah, I um, I talked to some people and they, they uh, said... Wow, kids, you talk a lot. Uh, the people you're looking for are here, and I, I came and, um, yeah. So, so I came in, and then I, I, um, I, 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 uh, I, I decided to get in the door, and I, uh, to do that, I, I, I'm a master lockpick sometimes, so I, I figured a way in there. Yeah. Sometimes. Oh. I have a magical lock pick that works sometimes. Works sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. It only looks when no one is testing me, looking at me, and I don't desperately need to get into a place. Mm. But really? Yeah. So why did <laughs> why did you need to find us? I needed a place to sleep. Oh. And your home is not sufficient for. Oh, there's a giant spider monster living under my bed. I couldn't. Uh, I, 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 I was scared, so I came here. Mm hmm. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. All right. Is this when we woke up or when we got home? When you got home. Oh, okay. All right, well, you're taking the couch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's okay. I'm used to sleeping on the floor. I sleep in front of the uh, heating unit. That's fair. I've done that a couple nights, too. Uh, and I will pass the uh, flask of good booze around and over the kid's head. He's just like, ah. Nope. The drinking age around here is four. Not for this, it ain't. 
Well, while you're in this room, you it isn't. Not for this expensive ass boost, it's not. <laughs> if we're talking piss piss beer, then maybe I could be convinced, but do you got some? No, I left the piss beer I... behind. But yeah, I'm good with alcohol. I once drank like 120 shots of some really strong stuff and drank some gangsters out of a table. Is that so? Mm Mm-hmm. We're going to have to work on your stories, kid. Okay. 120 is way too many. Only if you have a problem. No, like you would die. Like anyone would die. You got to pick a number that's like believable. Like for your size and weight, I could see like 80. Maybe three if the person across from you is also already pretty smashed. Only three? Are you lightweight or something? Kiddo. <laughs> How much does this kid weigh? How old is this kid? This kid's like nine, right? Yeah, he's pretty young. Shots will fuck you up, buddy. Also, there's no way anybody is going to spend the money for 80 shots. It's like a coin a shot. I used to be rich. And you lost it to the guy that you drank under the table? Uh, no. You lost it to the spider monster. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Monster mug me. The spider monster came out of my bed. Came out of my bed and said, "Give me your money." And he took my money. You got any money on you? Completely out of character. The yeah. dishonored universe is weird enough in some cases where genuinely I would not be surprised if there is like an in character cryptid that is just like a Spider Man that's evil and goes around robbing the shit out of people. So Japanese Spider-Man. <laughs> Giant Mecca! Uh, leper to whatever it's called. Oh, straight up, Japanese Spider-Man yeah. literally kills people. It's great. Yeah, it, he pulled out a Tommy gun and most of them down. Sure um, okay. like, yeah, I got some coins. He's like, I got four coins. That's mine. No, I That's got four coins. Don't take his okay. coin. You owe me four <laughs> coin. For Why does he owe you four coin? <laughs> because he broke into my house. <laughs> One, it's not even our house. You're not helping, Tara. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if we're good, we do not need to steal from a child. I want to steal from a child. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be petty just because you're the only one that didn't make any money tonight. <laughs> I got to knock out two people. <laughs> And if you keep talking like this, I'm going to make a child fly. I, oh, uh, when parents are, when adults start arguing, I'm supposed to go in the bathroom and, and cover my ears. I'll be back. Look what you did. Don't you fucking start with me. <laughs> Okay, right. it's been a night. I am gonna go make sure my nose isn't broken and crash. I think it's definitely broken. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna. It is. It. I had my nose broken several times too. It hurts. Child, you must shut your mouth. <laughs> it's, it's about to be broken again. <laughs> you just hear through the door. Okay. In fact, you know what? You sleep in the bathtub. <laughs> Oh, not again. Yes, again. <laughs> Keep it up. Let's come in there and turn the water off. <laughs> you see the water start running. Mm-hmm. Can't hear you. I'm bathing. Don't come in. Floating in the tub. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sensory oh, deprivation. Get some privacy. I hate this mm-hmm. city. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Valid. Um, and with that, we will close out the session. Um, maybe next week you actually steal stuff more. <laughs> maybe next week I'll kill somebody. Well, not next week, but next game. Next yeah, next game. game. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. Remember, killing is easier than 
subduing, but it just generates chaos. So if you're okay with some chaos generation, yeah. I don't. So, but, <laughs> makes I my like job that. easier. I um, like the ending where, where the child is like, wow, killing can solve all my problems. And I'm like, yeah. That's the lesson to take off. <laughs> I always go relatively low chaos, but I still end up killing a lot of people in the games. Because I suck at stuff. Um, so with that, uh, we'll be ending out our session. Uh, thank you all for joining us who are watching uh, for our third episode. I know it gets weird and crazy. We, um, I missed this game last week. Hopefully it's funny week. enough for you. Or, my, I need this level of chaos in my life more often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Compared to our vampire game, this is is the more relaxed version. Of yeah, things. vampire game is just um, like all paranoia all the time. And this time it's just like, fuck it, chaos, let's go. Yeah. But yeah, so thank you for joining us. Uh, keep coming back every other week. We should be having these episodes of Dishonored um, Nevermore. Uh, and the weeks that we're not doing this, we sh- you should be seeing one more by night uh, air. Mm-hmm. Uh, check them both out uh, on our channel. I don't, does anyone have any other games they're in that they want to plug? Uh, none that are coming up anytime soon because we're on a bit of a Remember, hiatus. This is a VOD. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah but a... from when this would be airing, I still don't think um, we have anything. Yeah, down the doobly do, we're probably going to have some links to other people we game with their channels. Check out their stuff if you want. Yeah. Um, they some that uh some of them have some okay stuff, some good stuff. There's things overall that you might find interesting, so just check them all out. And thank you for putting up and watching our video. We will continue with more down the line, and uh, ho- hopefully more stuff will be on our channel eventually. But we'll see what's going on. And till next time, uh, I'm really going to have to think of an outro, and I will one day. Mm-hmm. Going to no, I don't, I don't think, think that's no, that's uh, not it. It's it's been Live. our dishonor. Uh, 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 yeah. It's stack of bones. We'll yeah, workshop it. Gonna, yeah, we're working. On, yeah, we may have to outsource. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, no, Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>